how much did it cost me to build this car? Now this is an ongoing question between a lot of people on my social media, TikTok, Instagram, or even YouTube. A lot of people ask the question, how much did it cost to build this car? And today I'm gonna to tell you exactly what I paid for it and exactly what I've put into it. Now this is based off today. So the prices of these cars go up and down all the time with the market. And at the minute the market has crashed. And when I bought this car, it was in the similar situation. So I actually got this car pretty damn cheap. I bought this car before I did anything to it for 1800 pounds. Now I know 1800 pounds is not a lot of money for a car like this. However, it wasn't in the best condition when I first bought it. This is what it looked like when I first bought it and it was an absolute nail. Even in the state that the car was in, it did have a few goodies to the car, which is mainly why I bought the car. For starters, this is a very rare color. As you see green, you will not see another one like this on the road. There is probably three in the UK right now. Three that I've actually heard of, that I've actually seen a picture of. One was being broke and another one was in Exeter and there's mine. So that was one of the reasons why I did want this car because there was so little of them left on the road. As well as this being a rare car because of its color, there is a few other bits on the car that I was more than happy to buy it with. Now, for example, this is an X drift car, as a lot of you may know. It does have a welded disc. I didn't have to do that. It was done already for me, which is great because I didn't have to pay for it to be done. Second of all, it has hydro, the e-brake for drifting. Now, that is a very expensive part to put on a car. And I got it with the car with no extra cost. So I was more than happy. So that is a few little things with this car. That I was like, right, £1,800 and I'm getting so many good little bits with this car. Now we're going to go into the nitty gritty of what I paid for all the parts that I put on this car. So if you wanted to build a car similar to this, a street sort of build, jot these down because this is everything that I put on this car and how much it has cost me. Starting off with the front bumper. Now this is an M3 front bumper. It is a replica front bumper. I didn't have 800 to a thousand pounds for a genuine m3 front bumper and i'm pretty sure this is near enough identical the only difference i think is with these bumpers the replicas to the genuine ones is they have wider arches on the m3s so the bumper here sticks out slightly more it bows out very slightly very very hard to tell i think that looks pretty good for a replica bumper and they fit really really well and this bumper cost me 250 pounds now of course that is excluded paint on this car so this bumper cost me 250 pounds unfortunately for me i work in a body shop so i got one of the lads to paint it but to get a bumper painted or any panel painted you're looking at a few hundred pounds so put another 150 to 200 pounds on top of that to get a bumper prep and painted next on the list we're staying on the front end and it is this this carbon csl front splitter this isn't actually off the CSLs, it's sort of the shape. The CSL will come with two sections here and here. Of course, real carbon fiber, but I preferred the full bumper splitter. Now, I got this for 50 pounds off Facebook Marketplace because it was off an X track build and had a slight bit of damage just under here. All I did was took it back into the body shop, prepped it up and lacquered it and it came out absolutely perfect fitting it i did it myself so i didn't have to pay anything for that but for 50 pounds for a carbon csl splitter i don't think that is too bad well, of course you are gonna have to buy the inserts for the front bumper the fog lights and the surround they were 20 pounds off amazon very very cheap and cheerful next we're going to be talking about the grills black grills again 20 pounds off i can't quite remember where it was you could there are so many options online you can buy genuine ones they aren't genuine but they fit perfectly black and they're 20 pounds and next side lights orange side lights i did buy clear side lights as well because i wanted to test how they'd look i prefer the orange on the green it's a nice contrast they were 15 pounds each and they fit perfectly now as i said this was an x drift car so a lot of the panels on it were pretty scrap so I had to buy two new wings for this car. Now these wings were brand new, they're non-genuine, but they fit perfectly. Of course, I align the door and the bonnet and they do fit very nicely, even with the replica front bumper, they fit really well. So 
Replica wings, they cost me £80 a side. Of course, you have to paint them as well. Again, I come from Body Shop, so I could just get one of the lads to paint it. But again, it'll be similar to a front bumper. It'll be about £150 on top of that to get them painted and fitted if you don't do it yourself. Now, what I think is a nice little touch that not a lot of people do, and it's new badges. These cost me £15 front and rear, and the little details like that really help a car. So brand new badges, front and rear for £15. On to one of the modifications on this car that I think is one of the biggest you can do to change the look of the car. And you probably already know what I'm talking about. It's the wheels. Now, wheels, for me, make everything on the car. If you've got a terrible set of wheels on a car, but everything else looks really nice, the whole car looks a bit crappy. So you've got to have a nice set of wheels. And these are actually different to the first set of wheels that I bought. Now, I bought a replica set of BBSs. I had to redo them, I had to get them refurbed, and it was £60 per wheel to get them refurbed. And they didn't look the best because they were replicas. Of course, then someone crashed into this car. And I actually got a fresh set after that. These are Dare LM, so essentially it is like a BBS LM style wheel, but they're not genuine BBSs, they're actually Dare wheels. And these cost me £700 which I think is really good because these are really, really nice wheels. Of course, you have to put tyres on them. I didn't go all out on tyres, to be fair. I got budget, so a £90 per tyre. So you got £700 for a nice set of wheels plus tyres. Next is suspension. Now, I, didn't, I haven't actually had to buy suspension for this car because I just left the budget coilovers that the car came with on the car because I was daily in this car. I'm not doing it as like a street build or I'm not building a drift car. So I didn't necessarily need really expensive coilovers. Now these are budget coilovers. You can get a set of coilovers for this car, probably around 250 pounds, adjustable coilovers as well. Of course, if you wanted to go for a more expensive version, if you really want comfort, or you're taking the car on track, or you're street racing, or you're doing whatever, you're gonna want a decent set of coilovers. Now, coilovers really range. You can go all the way up to like 3,000 plus on a really good set of coilovers, or as I said, you can go as low as 250, 300 pounds. Now, the same as the front, I did quite a lot to the rear. Now, starting off with the backlights, these are halogen backlights. These aren't the LED ones. The LED versions of these, are upwards of 50, 150 pounds. Now these are only 50 pounds, brand new. And these tailgate lights are about 25 pounds as well. Next we have the M Sport rear bumper. Now this cost me 50 pounds second hand. There was a slight dent in it, obviously because I work in body shop, I can get that done pretty quickly and very cheaply. However, if you did want to get one of these brand new, they're about 150 pounds. Of course, you do have the option to go M3, I didn't go the M3 because I didn't want an M3 replica. So I went with the next best option for me and that was the M Sport. I like the gloss black diffuser on it. Again, if you wanted it painted, it's another 150 pounds on top of that. Next, we have the Malian Jap exhaust. Now, I quite like the one single tip on these. I wasn't a fan of having two tips or the quad exhaust for the M3. I wanted to go a bit different and I really like the look of a Jap exhaust on an E46. Now that exhaust tip is about 150 pounds brand new from Malian. And finally, for the outside of the car, before we move on to any interior bits, we have the side skirts. Now these are M Sport side skirts as well. You will probably struggle to find a set of these, especially in the UK. Now they are like gold dust to some people. I was fortunate enough to have these on the car. I actually repaired it because it was broken, colour coded them. You can get them now if, again, you can find them. They're about £100. That's if you can find them. And we also have the tin. The tin I did myself and I got the wrap off Amazon and it was about £30. Now for the interior, we have the M Sport steering wheel. This you can probably get for about £50. And then you have the screen which is around 150 pounds. Now, besides putting a whole interior in this car, I'm not gonna add that to the list because it's not essentially a modification. But what I will put on there is the Alcantara for the door cards. Now, this Alcantara actually only cost me around 45 pounds. And of course, I did it myself. So it didn't cost me anything in labor. And I think that looked pretty good. I am probably forgetting a few things, but that is the vast majority of it. If you wanna make your car look similar to this, 
on a strict budget i'm going to put the final figure of what i've spent on this car on the screen now and considering the car was in the shape it was in i think i've done pretty well and you can do it too all you need is that amount of money on the screen so let me know what you guys think do you think i overspent on this car or do you think i've done quite well with what i had to work with let me know in the comments down below and if you want to build a car like this all you need to do is follow everything that i have done i hope you guys did enjoy this video stay tuned for more videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one